Hello dear students. Welcome to KLS Gokte PU College of Commerce and Science, Begawi. So this is our second lecture on a topic structure of atom. And this is Mr. Akash Vasan Nesarkar, lecturer in chemistry, department of chemistry. So students, I hope you remember what we have discussed in the last class. If you do not, let me revise that in 30 seconds. So in the last class, we studied about the atom, right? And we said that atoms of the same elements are same and the atoms of a different elements are different. Also, the scientist Democritics gave the word atom and the meaning of the word atom is indivisible. The meaning of word is all the meaning of word atom is indivisible the later on john delton proposed that atom is indivisible in nature it means that we cannot divide the atom into smaller particles so atom is what indivisible so those things we have studied in a last class so conclusion of last class is what the atom is indivisible in nature we cannot divide the atom into smaller particles that was the conclusion can be driven from the previous class and let us have the contents of today's topic uh, today's class the first one we are going to see the activity and from that activity we will learn something right next the second point is discovery of cathode rays or electrons we will be discussing or we will be focusing on the discovery of cathode rays how the cathode rays are produced and next one the characteristics of cathode rays that is properties of cathode rays we will be see so let us not waste the time and start the class so students i hope you remember this activity everyone has carried out this activity in their schools right right so there are four images the first one the comb dry hair right second one the comb from hair and third one the small pieces of a paper and fourth one that is comb and between the paper comb and the paper there is a, some kind of attraction is present right okay fine now from this activity what we have what we have to what we have to learn the only one thing you can observe here when the comb when the comb is taken near the pieces of a paper what will happen the paper move towards the comb right the paper move towards the comb that is nothing but what a kind of attraction is taking place between comb and the small pieces of a paper right so question is what if a comb is taken near the pieces of the paper, what will happen? The simple, your answer will be what? The attraction is taking place. Between the paper and the comb, the attraction is taking place. And due to that attraction, the pieces of paper moving towards what? Comb. Fine. So instead of comb, you have tried. Maybe you have tried with the scale, plastic scale. So rub that plastic scale with the hair, uh, with the hair and take near the small pieces of a paper what will happen again the small pieces of paper start to move towards the scale so there is also a kind of attraction is present between the small pieces of paper and the scale so from this activity we have learned that the word attraction so attraction is present between the small pieces of paper and the comb fine so like this attraction will take place next another activity you might have performed this the glass rod and the silk cloth you have to rub the glass rod with the silk cloth and in another image that is inflated balloon so when the rod is taken near the balloon then what will happen the answer is given in the third image that is what attraction simple it is again it is what attraction is taking place between the balloon and the glass rod now question arise here why this attraction is taking place why the attraction is taking place first of all let me ask you attraction take place between 
the charge particles right between the charge particle charge particle is nothing but what positive charge and negative charge so between the charge particle whether the attraction take place between the same charges means the attraction take place between two positive charges or two negative charges yes yes students whether the attraction take place between the two positive charges or two negative charges yes no right the attraction do not take place between the two positive charges and the two negative charges instead the attraction take place between one positive and one negative charge right right so the attraction take place between the oppositely charged particles so where the particles are present now yeah we have already discussed this in a last class right so gold gold contains what atoms right gold contains what atoms so the balloon has a atoms plastic has a atoms and in those atoms what is present particles are present in those atoms what are present particles are present and those particles may be charged particles right those particles will be charged particles right so they may have the positive charge or they may have the negative charge right yes they may have the positive charge or they may have the negative charge and because of that only they can attract to each other and because of these charge particles the attraction is taking place right the so simple it is so previous class mein humne kaha sikha ki atom ko hum divide nahi kar sakte atom do not consist of smaller पार्टिकल्स बट यहाँ पे एक्टिविटी करने के बाद हमको ये पता चल रहा है कि अट्रैक्शन इज प्रेजेंट है अट्रैक्शन किस के वजह से चार्ज पार्टिकल्स और चार्ज पार्टिकल किस में प्रेजेंट है एटम में प्रेजेंट है सिंपल इट इज सो चार्ज पार्टिकल किस में प्रेजेंट है एटम में प्रेजेंट है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दी चार्ज पार्टिकल एंड द अट्रैक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस नाउ क्वेश्चन आ रहा है जियर वेयर डज दिस चार्ज कम फ्रॉम वेयर डज दिस चार्ज कम फ्रॉम सो so, यहाँ पे इस क्लास में हम ये कह सकते हैं दैट एटम इज डिविजिबल प्रीवियस क्लास का कंक्लूजन क्या था हमारा एटम इज इनडिविजिबल इन नेचर बट बाय कैरिंग आउट दिस ग्रुप एक्टिविटी वी विल से दैट द एटम इज डिविजिबल वी कैन डिवाइड द एटम इनटू स्मॉलर पार्टिकल राइट सो वेयर डिज दिस चार्ज कम फ्रॉम द चार्ज कम फ्रॉम द एटम आंसर एन एटम इज डिविजिबल एंड कंसिस्ट ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल सो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि एटम को हम डिवाइड कर सकते हैं क्योंकि एटम में क्या प्रेजेंट है चार्ज पार्टिकल्स प्रेजेंट है सो विच आर द चार्ज पार्टिकल यस एटम में चार्ज पार्टिकल्स प्रेजेंट है पॉजिटिव चार्ज भी प्रेजेंट हो सकता है और नेगेटिव चार्ज भी प्रेजेंट हो सकता है सो इट लीड्स टूवर्ड्स टू फोर्सेस attractive force and the repulsive force okay so guys oppositely charge particles attract each other but the same charge particles repel each other so remember this point like repels and unlike attract to each other like repel means what positive charge and positive charge repels each other negative charge and the negative charge repel each other but unlike that is positive and the negative charge particles attract each other so that is that is happening in the activity case right so why the attraction is taking place because the two oppositely charged particles attract each other and that's why the small pieces of papers moving towards the comb or scale or the balloon is moving towards the glass rod it is due to the attraction between unlike charges now by the end of 19th century scientists came to know that atom is not divisible that is atom is not indivisible but divisible but divisible and consist of subatomic particles subatomic particles so by the end of 19th century we will we came to know that atom is divisible and it consists of subatomic particle and those particles names are 
electron proton and neutron so these are the three fundamental subatomic particles of atom so atom consists of subatomic particle the first one is a proton second one is a electron and third one is a neutron so these are the three fundamental particles are present in an atom right now you might be knowing the answer of this question that is who has discovered electron yes we have already learned this in a school who has discovered electron yes the answer is j j thompson the scientist j j thompson has discovered electron that is e minus symbol is what e minus and why it is e minus i will let you know in next class so joseph john thompson has discovered the electron right fine next who has discovered the existence of proton proton the symbol is p raised to positive sign because it is a proton i said that two particles are uh, i said that three subatomic particles are present in an atom okay so electron is negatively charged proton is positively charged and who has discovered the existence of proton the answer is what eigen goldstein he discovered the existence of proton okay that is discovery of cathode rays who has discovered the neutron the symbol is n the symbol is n no charge okay over the neutron so only electron carries a negative charge proton carries a positive charge and the neutron carries no charge remember that okay this is very important guys electron negatively charged proton positively charged neutron no charge okay and who discovered the electron j j thompson who discovered the existence of proton existence okay remember existence of proton eigen goldstein okay and who has discovered the neutron the name is james chadwick the name is what james chadwick so james chadwick discovered the neutron now one by one we will be discussing the discoveries of each subatomic particle so today we will discuss the discovery of electron that is cathode rays okay <clears throat> an electron was discovered by cathode ray discharge tube experiment so j j thompson has carried out cathode ray discharge tube experiment cathode ray discharge tube experiment so cathode ray tube is made up of glass containing two thin pieces of metal so this is your cathode ray discharge tube which consists of two thin pieces of metals and those are called as electrodes those are called as what electrodes so yahan pe dekh sakte ho aap one electrode and the second electrode the electrode which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so the here it is your battery so the electrode which is connected negative terminal of the battery is called cathode it is called cathode and the electrode which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery is called anode is called what anode are you getting so the electrode which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery is called cathode and the electrode which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery is called anode fine the electrical discharge through the gases could be observed only at very low pressure and at a high voltage so we can subject the number of gases through this inlet yeah so we can subject the number of gases through this inlet okay at very low pressure and at a high voltage got it fine the pressure of a different gases could be adjusted by evacuation when the sufficient high voltage is applied across the electrodes so when you apply the high voltage across these electrodes the current starts flowing through the stream of particles the current start flowing from the stream of particles moving 
in the tube from the negative electrode that is cathode to the positive electrode that is anode to the positive electrode that is anode so these rays were called cathode rays because these rays are coming from the cathode electrode these rays are coming from the cathode electrode and moving towards the positive electrodes so if it is moving towards the positive electrodes it means that it is the cathode rays are what negatively charged because it is moving towards the positively charged anode so cathode rays are what negatively charged because it is moving towards the anode fine okay it happens only when you apply the high voltage when you apply the high voltage the cathode starts emitting some rays which are negatively charged and those are attracted towards the anode which is positively charged so we can say that cathode rays are what negatively charged or cathode ray particles we can say cathode ray particles are negatively charged the flow of current from the cathode to anode was further checked by making a hole in the anode and costing the tube behind the anode with the phosphorescent material called zinc sulfide coating a bright spot on the coating is developed okay further the moving of the particles is rechecked by using the zinc sulfide coating by using what zinc sulfide coating which is costing behind the anode electrode okay so once the cathode rays strike to the anode okay so green glow will start it starts to glow green color it means what the cathode rays are coming near the anode cathode rays are coming near the anode okay so we can say that cathode rays are moving towards the anode and those cathode rays are negatively charged because it is moving towards the anode which is a positively charged the next characteristics of cathode rays the first one cathode rays are deflected in an electric and magnetic field so they are electrically charged particles so when you place the electric and magnetic field to the discharge tube so those rays gets deflected so deflected is nothing but what they will change their direction they will change their direction they will start moving towards the electric field or they will start towards moving towards the magnetic field so that is called as a deflection okay the second point in the absence of electric and magnetic field these rays travels in a straight line so those rays are travels in a straight line though cathode rays travels in a straight line in the absence of electric and magnetic field the third one cathode rays are negatively charged particles named as electron now we can say that why the electrons are negatively charged because cathode rays are cathode rays are negatively charged species so cathode rays are what ne negatively charged particles and those are moving towards the anode the fourth one they cause the heating effect when they strike on the solid substance so when the cathode rays strike on the solid substance they produce the heat fifth one they penetrate through the thin sheets of aluminum and other metal if you take a thin sheets of aluminum or gold and when you pass the cathode when you strike the cathode rays so cathode rays starts penetrating so they can pass through the thin sheets like aluminum and gold sixth one they produce x ray when they strike hard metals like copper and tungsten when they strike on the hard metals like copper and tungsten they produce the x ray and seventh one they produce the fluorescence on a glass so they shows the properties of fluorescence on a glass so in today's class we have studied many things that is atom is divisible it consists is consisting of three subatomic particles that is electron proton and the neutron who discovers the proton neutron and the electron what is the charge over the electron what is the charge over the proton and what is the charge over the uh, neutron then discovery of the electron how the discovery of electron is taking place and the some characteristics of a cathode rays so remember these guys try to understand the concept it will become easy to understand the chemistry thank you